All right, let's quickly create this motion graphics. I'm already in a new composition. I'm going to drag and drop the paper texture and rotate it like this. Scale it up to fit the composition. I'm going to go and add a curves. Give a little bit of contrast like that and make this a 3d layer and drag and drop the image inside the composition make it a 3d layer as well and scale it down all right once we have that straight away i'm going to add a text go to killing i'll make it a black color and maybe increase the size. I'll make this text a 3D layer and push it towards the camera, something like this. I'm gonna duplicate this text, Control D to duplicate, move it over here and push it towards the background. Let's get it down and second May 1965. Right, so make it small and I don't know, I'm just writing this text. You can try out any text, you know. So it's here and I'm going to duplicate another copy and move it towards the camera. By the way, let's create a camera for this camera, which is uh, maybe 50 mil. Okay layer new and null object for the camera controller so we rename this as controller maybe let's add a camera controller right so i'm going to pick whip the camera to the controller so that wherever we move the null object the camera follows look at this all right so let's go to the text Let's get it down and let's rename this missing, right? So nothing fancy, it's just that and and let me just duplicate this and murder charges filed. Okay. You know that's the the main composition let's go ahead and animate this and we'll work on the designs later on in the tutorial so let's select the camera controller now object hit p on the keyboard and set a keyframe and we're going to change the position of this right so from here and i'm going to maybe add five or ten seconds and you know push this out so it's gonna go like this so you can add select all the keyframes f9 to easy use them and it's going like this so you have a little bit of parallaxing going on here with this text and this text right so maybe i'm going to push it even away from the background and put it somewhere here and right now you have a very boring design you can even add some more images here so i won't do that i'm just showing you the possibilities and the way how you do this kind of motion graphics right so you you can add some more overlays scale it up turn it to 3d f4 to bring out this mode and overlay or you can do a multiply well that's too harsh maybe i'll do a soft light you can add another another overlay make it a 3d layer and soft light this time and what you can do is push this away towards the camera and then you will have some kind of parallaxing effect going on there. Once you have that animation, we are ready to make some 
lines animation. So I'm gonna grab a pen tool with a stroke, maybe a two and make it red. And I'm gonna draw without selecting any of the layers. I'm going to draw a circle like this. You don't have to be perfect. You just you just assume that this is being written written by a pen, right? So go to the contents, shape and path and you can modify the path. This don't have to be perfect. I think that's completely fine. So what I'm going to do is go collapse this shape layer and go and add a trim path because we are going to animate this as if it was you know being written so you can you can hide these handles by holding down control shift and h on the keyboard and you can see what's going on here so we're going to animate this right so set a keyframe there at zero go a few frames and set it to 100 so I think it's good if you select all the layers and hit F9 to easy is that so you go here and maybe about here and I forgot to turn on the 3d layer for this so F4 uh, make it a 3d layer and make sure you copy the position of this text right P copy this and paste it here control V to paste it so I will have to reposition this here and maybe scale it down, right? So maybe somewhere here. And if it comes here, control shift H to hide it comes here and you have that maybe earlier than that. And you can even, you know, duplicate it and offset the timing and offset the timing as well as the position or maybe make the stroke to maybe four like that and you can even you know collapse this go to the shape path and you know randomize the points right so that you don't have the exact same you don't have the exact same points doesn't need to be perfect so the, uh, the whole idea is to randomize everything right so I think you got what I'm saying here so that is it and let's go ahead and create another another you know lines for this oops without selecting any of the layers right so you don't you don't want to select any layers here grab the pen tool and and the same goes for this I'm just gonna copy the trim path from this copy and paste it here paste it right so to make this a 3d layer as well and copy the position of this text where is it yes this copy this and paste it here and reposition it somewhere here yeah. control control shift and H to hide and the same rule applies you can duplicate it and offset the timing and the position to make to you know randomize everything right so that's the whole idea and let's see let's randomize and let me just even rotate this a little bit and i can even duplicate another copy and offset the timing 
and rotate it and stroke to two. So the whole idea is to randomize everything like I said before. All right, the next, the next thing I added was some brush stroke animation. So I will not create this brush stroke animation because I have already covered this tutorial previously in my channel. You can just watch that from the description down below or from the top here. Right, so let's move on to the next step, which is this one. I've already dragged and drop it, and you can just co copy the position of this missing, copy and paste it here, scale it down, right? And just below the missing font, the missing title, maybe even scale it a little bit bigger than this like that and I'm gonna duplicate this and move it somewhere here and even copy the position of the text again you know copy this and paste it on the brush and even size it up and drag this below the text so that everything is below here and you can even change the blending mode of this to overlay or hard light you know whatever however you want it so that is that and i even duplicate another copy and move it over here in the original example i did something like this i believe and it was where is it uh, and it was like uh overlay like that you know that makes it a little bit more interesting i can even increase this text size if you are increasing this size make sure you're even increasing the brush size as well as the the pen lines right so these two lines and increase it all right this is what you have so far you can even add some depth of field to the camera but it will take a lot more time to render out this sequence but having a little bit of depth of feel makes it a little realistic. So I always like to add a depth of feel to this. And you can even add an adjustment layer, adjustment layer and add a curves and do some color grading to that to make it more cinematic, you know. Or you can even throw a lot on this just adding a little bit of contrast to make it better so and this is how i create this and one more thing i forgot is the arrow lines that i created the same the same technique applies to this so i added some kind of arrow like this right so selecting i added some kind of arrow like this in the original example and i added some kind of and you know i did it all in a separate layer so without selecting any of this you know simple as that let's do it like that so i just added the trim path like before copy the trim path and you know you can just is it Go and you can just paste the trim path and you can offset the timings as well as turn on the 3d you can turn on the 3d layer for all this and you can have that maybe I'm moving it earlier in the timeline like this one after the other first the lines and the, the the arrow and that right so that is how i create this you can even change the color of the of the ink to blue something like a pen so that will make it a little bit more like a pen so i don't think that should be blue but i'm just giving you an idea here you can just change it to 
black uh, sorry the, the the blue or or red so, you know that that looks better which looks better in your composition all right that is how you create this kind of motion graphics i hope you learned something from this video thanks a lot for watching and i will see you in my next video